Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. I went to do a job and had a, a dog uh, jump attack me. Uh, kind of crazy. I like to hear your guys' stories uh, with animals, other people's animals, situations, job situations where you went to do and funny things that happen. Uh, share them in the comments below. But anyway, uh, I'll tell you what happened to me on this one. <laughs> as well as a bit of repair video. Thanks for watching. Hey, even any funny stories with uh, your own animals and uh, other services? And they see not cool. cooling. Fan motor's not spinning. That ain't working out. And uh, we'll see. It's got some washers on it. Probably gonna need a new fan motor. Capacitor. I have to try to put you here. Probably gonna need a new capacitor. Okay. This. Pull it apart, take a look. And I'll be lucky if it's a new capacitor. It's right at like the very end of the day. 440. Okay. Now usually I can push start it and that's that. And it is the capacitor, but not always. So just taking a look here. Everything, you know, everything looks okay. Okay. So I'm gonna discharge the capacitor and discharge the little five, and that's what I'm gonna change out. I'm gonna go grab another five microfarad capacitor and change it out. Okay, so I've got my new capacitor. Now it's a five microfarad capacitor for the fan. So I'm just matching to the same size and uh, just gonna discharge the regular capacitor, discharge the fan capacitor, and then we can change it out. Now the capacitor holds a charge in it even after the power is disconnected. So that's why we're discharging it. Uh, this doesn't always work. Hopefully it does this time. It's now about 4.45. So we're just finishing up the day. And uh, anyway, here's our new capacitor. Slide it on in. And one lead to each side. No biggie. Now we can fire it up and test it out. And we'll just examine for any other loose wires or anything. But it looks like we're okay. I'm gonna plug it in, see what happens. Hopefully our fan starts at beautiful. I don't know if I'd call that completely beautiful, but but I'd say at uh, quarter to five it's somewhat beautiful. Bouncing around quite a bit. Probably really time for a new one. But uh, sometimes you can find something heavy to put on top of it just to weigh it down, give it enough time, buy, buy enough time. But at least we're running now, that'll cool things off. And uh, oh yeah, the line's getting nice and cool. It's not the complete story, you know, indication the line's getting cold, but it's a good sign. So. Uh, we're good there and when it's over 100 degrees after running for about five minutes this line should be should be chilly so that's the story there good to go gonna survive another day i'll probably just find a big rock or something put it on top or an old fan motor uh, just for now to keep it from shaking around and keep it alive good to go thanks for watching come to maintenance over now okay i'm gonna grab the big rock See how it goes. Much better. Well, 
Kelly's by sometime. What are you gonna do? I recommend a new one, but at least that'll buy some time. Yep, that's so much better. Okay, so I stayed with this one for about five minutes uh, to make sure it was cool, and prob problem was uh, the line actually started to get uh, warmer and not cold enough given the temperature that it was outside. I just kind of know from feel that it's just the indication something was off. So I needed to come back the next day. Now, fortunately, I kind of knew it would get through the day as it was already starting to cool off outside, and AC probably wouldn't have to run too hard to keep it at temperature. And anyway, um, so I asked the guy if it'd be okay if I came back the next day. Uh, he was okay with it, so I came back the next day to fix it. Um, problem was, uh, I had a dog, and uh, somewhere it got communicated to someone that I wasn't supposed to go do the job until later in the day, but I didn't get the message. And uh, anyway, I went in to do the work order, and... Um, got inside to the air conditioner I turn around and there's a dog you know <laughs> like right there just like it had just woke up from a nap and uh, he actually seemed okay <laughs> seemed uh, not not too bothered that I was there so I went ahead and lowered the AC down so I could go up on the roof and charge it up and uh, proceeded to leave and everything was going good until the moment I got to the door as soon as I turned my back on that dog that pug jumped on me and um man i was just i was glad that he didn't bite me he just started barking like crazy i i was like hey stay stay you know told him to stay uh but he wasn't listening so i got me out real quick closed the door behind me and locked the door and then proceeded to you know find a leak and charge the air conditioner and all that and uh get it going problem was i had lowered it down to about 68 degrees so uh uh, and of course I couldn't go back in cause the, do the dog from that point on went ballistic, barking at me through the window, jumping on the window over and over. And, uh, it just decided he didn't like me anymore cause I had turned my back on him. It was just kind of funny that, uh, and, and after that I relayed the story to a couple friends and they all told me that that was actually kind of common, uh, with pugs or with some dogs that, uh, you know they can turn they can turn on you when you turn your back on them and maybe it has something to do with like a separation anxiety they they don't like to be left alone and so they get upset when uh, someone leaves but anyway that dog he seemed fine when i was in the house but the minute i tried to leave oh man it was a completely different story <laughs> anyway uh good idea to watch out for dogs uh communication is key uh, on certain things you know if uh you know, it had been communicated. I wouldn't have gone there. But anyway, I survived. Uh, of course, uh, after fixing the air conditioner, it was probably pretty chilly in there. But anyway, <laughs> all fixed. Survive another day. So, uh, yep, this one, air conditioner not cooling. Beware of dog. Watch your back. Watch out for them pugs. Yep, they're, they're mostly pretty friendly. But uh, the minute you turn your back, it's a whole other story. Thanks for watching. I'm sure a lot of you have some really cool stories out there of jobs that you went to do or funny stories of things that happened uh, involving other people's animals when you went to do a job. Uh, it'd be great to hear some of those stories in the comments below. So if you want to share uh, any kind of scenarios and stories that you went through or uh, even that you've heard of other people going through, uh, you know, I'm sure there's some doozies out there. So if you'd share them, that would be really cool. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Watch your back out there. Be safe. Watch out for them bugs.